Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at the first part of my thoughts for the Star Wars Build the Millennium Falcon series. So this is a weekly part works that builds up with the parts to make the Millennium Falcon. It's been quite controversial, I know there's many people who think this is a total rip-off, and others who are absolutely thrilled to bits and think it's a no-brainer. I've got to say, I'm in the camp that is thrilled to bits, and I did subscribe to this. So rather than going over the ins and outs of the magazine and putting it all together on camera, I'm just going to give you a quick overview on where we're at and how the ship's looking. So today, issues 1, 2, 3, and the first issue came with this Build the Millennium Falcon series guide, and it all folds out and you can see a picture of the finished model. Now when they advertised this, they said you don't need to paint this. It does come pre-painted, but it doesn't look anywhere near as good as this. It has some weathering, but nowhere near this much. And it has a lot of parts that are just bare metal, so if you want them to look right, you're going to have to paint it yourself. Some of the exciting features, we can see it has a working ramp. The gun turrets are movable. Probably the most exciting is the lighting. We've got this huge light up back section. The cockpit lights up, those little bits at the front light up. It also has removable panels so you can see bits of the inside. Yeah, this just looks like a really exciting model to build. So something we should really touch upon is the price of this thing. The first issue was $2.99, after that it's $8.99 and that's every single week for 100 weeks. I'll let you do the maths but that ain't cheap. So I know a lot of people were put off by that ridiculous price tag. And yes, you can go out and buy other versions of the Falcon, but what sold it for me? which is actually you get to build the Millennium Falcon, not just own a Millennium Falcon. If you went out and just bought a pre-made thing, it wouldn't be anywhere near as entertaining as actually putting one together from scratch. So these are the magazines so far. I'm not going to show you the insides, but you can guess it's got the Millennium Falcon on each and every issue. That'll be a bit weird if it goes up to 100 pictures of the Millennium Falcon. And we also get this one-to-one -one scale blueprint, which I'm not going to unfold because it's huge. So let's take a look at what we've got so far in issues 1 to 3. So a big part of the first issue is this gun. This one goes on the top. And you can see this comes in a number of different parts. And they have three screws that hold them all together. And this is what I mean about it's going to need painting because you can't have that set on the top. So this is going to sit like that on the top. It will have some movement but not a great deal. It doesn't really go side to side, just up and down. And so far, I haven't glued anything, but these bits are all separate. They just pop out. And yeah, definitely think this is going to need a bit of gluing. So between issues 1 to 3, we get a fair bit of the cockpit. We've got these little steering things that pop in there. I haven't glued this together yet. I'm holding off until the last possible moment on that. There's also another couple of little metal bits that go in there, but I've left them in a bag because I don't want to lose them. And we also got this piece. Just some weird holes in there, I'm not sure what that's going to work out like. That sort of goes on like that. The seats are really nice on this. And then we've also been given the back section. This is a sticker over plastic, it's actually a very very nice sticker. It's like really thick vinyl stickers. And this door piece was separate and that's actually got a sticker inside as well. And that will eventually attach to that and be the back of the cockpit. What's also quite cool is it has holes in the plastic, so when you shine a light through, those instrument panels are going to light up. So that's probably the most detailed piece we've had so far. Looking quite cool. Another little piece we've got so far is the chest table. This is one solid piece of metal. With nowhere to go just yet, but we get another really thick vinyl sticker to go on the top. Looks quite good, it's definitely very heavy. I should point out the second issue came with a screwdriver, which is dead handy for putting this together. And we've also had some metal framework. Now this came over two different issues. And you have all these little panels that you've got to hold in place, put the tiny little screws in. But it holds together quite nicely and that metal is really thick. And this piece, which is one of the hull plates, actually fits on over the top of that. If we get it the right way around, it goes that way I think. So that just slots in there. I'm assuming we're going to get some screws for that at some point to hold it in place. So this is how this is going to work. A big metal framework surrounded by a hull plating. The hull plating is actually pretty nice. It's got a bit of weathering, but I'm sure we could add a little bit more to that. And we also got this piece, which will eventually connect up to this to make the next section. No framework for this yet, though, so it does fit quite nicely. We've got a couple of holes there. I'm not sure what that's going to be attaching to. 
And we also get this piece, which is eventually going to have this plugged into it. But I want to paint that first. It's got a see-through window, so that makes me think we're going to be able to see down into there. No glass in it yet. And we also have a little few extra added details that are yet to come. Now this is where the weathering falls down a bit. It's got some, but this could look so much better. This at the minute is the most toy-like looking part of the piece. And I definitely think we need to do some work there. But eventually that'll go on there, sort of like that. Going on top of that. So you can start to see just how big this is going to be. It's actually nearly a metre long. And that's your lot for issues one to three. Might not seem like a lot, but these are pretty big pieces. And the quality of the metal, I'm very impressed with. So far, so good. As a subscriber, I have to wait another four weeks before the next four issues roll in. And when they do, I'll knock them bits together and I'll give you an update. And hopefully, in a hundred weeks' time, we should see the finished article. This has been Luke. Thanks for watching.